So hello, my dears. Welcome to video number one. This video is about these acupuncture needles that I always like to set before you get the actual piercing. And I would like to provide a little bit of clarification on this. What are they for? What do they do? How do you handle them? And most importantly, maybe you can set these points yourself because it is not always sensible to pierce every point. Sometimes, especially with issues that should eventually go away like knee pain or tension that I only have at the moment, it doesn't always make sense to go straight to piercing. And this is exactly why these acupuncture needles exist and I always like to set them for you. I can also easily show you how to set these points yourself. First of all, these needles that you get from me in the studio, if you want, of course, are permanent acupuncture needles. That means these needles stay in until they fall out on their own. That can be two days, that can be two weeks. Eventually these needles will fall out and don't worry, no needle has ever stayed in. They all definitely fall out. The small task that you naturally have from me is, on the one hand, if a needle should hurt, you can simply scratch it away. I'll show you this needle. Hopefully you can see this a little bit now. At the top here, these small barbs are sitting inside they are about 1 mm in size, that black part up there, and they don't go through the ear. They just stay in the ear. They are 1 mm long, but they have small barbs. Why can they hurt? For one, if you have laid on them awkwardly or slept on them, they can become a bit inflamed. Alternatively, the point might be working because acupuncture points, when they are active, are generally somewhat uncomfortable. As long as the pain is still bearable, please leave them in. If it really becomes unbearable, just scratch them out with your fingernail. I deliberately say scratch out. Theoretically, you could also pull them out, but because of these barbs, it's usually more uncomfortable. And then the men like to call and say, they hurt, I can't get them out. So as a little tip, I personally just scratch them away. Yes, then I quickly pull them out. The second thing is, please always take a photo of it. There are several reasons for this. For one, I obviously can't remember which acupuncture needles I set. And especially with more specific things, it's always difficult for me to say, hey, or people come back and say, hey, I really need that needle again. It was so great. Then I say, sure, gladly, which one? Yes, there was one and it's always a bit awkward. That's why I take a photo, then you can show it to me. Or if you have another acupuncture studio you want to visit, you can say, look, I had these before, they were great. I would like to have them again. So always work a bit with photos. There is also another reason because sometimes, let's take back pain, for example, it can have many causes. SI joint, femoral sciatic nerve, lumbar vertebrae, two, three, four, five, six, SI2, and uh, 5s so and now the pain is gone but we might not know at first which point helped that means you take a photo here and then leave and you might feel good for four or five days on the sixth day the pain comes back so we take another photo and check which needle has fallen out and then you can tell me next time look when the needle fell out in the picture the pain came back then i know where i need to start that's why we kindly ask you to always work a bit with these photos it really helps us a lot so as i said on the one hand the needles fall out on their own this can take two days to two weeks, sometimes even longer. If they hurt, take them out. And I usually place the needle deliberately to one side, especially for muscular issues. The points I like to set for almost everyone in the shoulder muscles are four in total, one shoulder point, Jerome Polster, and cervical vertebra C. These points in combination relax the entire muscle area. The problem at the beginning was that I always set very small ones. Then the women said that I must be imagining it and that it's all in my head. And that's exactly why I like to set one side and then most women actually notice after 20 to 30 minutes that the side becomes looser or if I press here it hurts a lot. It's always important to note that when you get the needle from me it usually takes about 20 to 30 minutes for most women. And before you go please feel inside, press on the muscles, move your head and shoulders and see if it feels the same. In 2001, do you feel that one hurts less or is looser? Then I should balance it out. If I don't do this, there could be a risk that three hours later you'll be sitting there as we've all experienced because the side keeps getting looser and looser since they keep working as long as they're in. And then we have had people who said they started getting back pain because they were in an imbalance. That's why it's very important. If you notice something, you should then balance it out. So that's about these needles when you come to the studio. I actually always like to set them for people first because then they can also experience how acupuncture can work. And it has another effect as well. 
I consciously do another side for a different reason because many people ask me, especially with migraines, for example, do I need to do one side or both sides? And then we quickly notice that each side works only for itself. If I set the needle on the right, the right side loosens up. There is a very small part where it then goes to the left, but usually the side where it sits, if it's on the right, it becomes looser. And then most people notice that. If they have a one-sided migraine, they should do one side. If they have a bilateral migraine, they should do both sides because each side only works on its own. And you can notice that with these needles. And by the way, if you have a special acupuncture combination, I might say, hey, you can set it yourself here. I have included the link below this video where you can order these needles. These are the permanent acupuncture needles. I now have the ones from the company Apex and all that. It's a small plastic casing with the needle sitting at the tip and the whole thing works like a stamp printer. You just press down and the needle is pushed out. I'll make this very brief. So here at the tip sits this needle with the cap on it and with pressure, it just clicks down. That means you should press your finger behind the ear to hold it in place. So hold it against, set it up and press it down completely like a stamp. I hope I can show you the needle sometime. Maybe you can see it. Try to see that this very, 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 very tiny little thing here, these are the needles. And yes, that's all about these needles. And now, in the next video, I will explain some of my favorite points. See you soon in video two.